Tonight, for the first time, we're seeing what deputies found and what witnesses told them in the moments after the fatal shooting on the Rust movie set. Let's get to News 13's Ariana Kraft, who has the details. Cast and crew were quickly interviewed on set, and everyone had the same question. How could a prop gun on a movie set fire the live round that killed Helena Hutchins? Are you doing okay? No, I'm not, actually. New video shows Alec Baldwin soon after shooting and killing cinematographer Helena Hutchins when a gun misfired on the Santa Fe set of Rust back in October. Associate what to do. Okay. Tell me what to do. The deadly shot from a prop gun went through Hutchins into director Joel Souza. He talked to a deputy while in the hospital. It was a very loud bang, and it felt like somebody kicked me in the shoulder, and then I was down on my ass, and then I looked over and see the cinematographer, Helena Hutchins, with blood coming out of her back. He recalls the moments leading up to the gun misfiring. I remember the, ar the armorer handed the actor a gun, I don't know if she said it was cold or clean, but she handed him the gun and then there was a bang that was a louder bang than I've heard come from a blank before. While talking with Santa Fe County Sheriff's deputies, Baldwin claims the gun went off when he pulled it out. I turned and I went like this to see him again and she was there and the gun went off and she just went right on the ground. He tells law enforcement he was instructed to cock the gun in the scene. Today I sit here and whether it was a misfiring theatrical round or a live one. I shot this woman with a gun today. That doesn't feel so good, you know. Shortly before rehearsing the scene, a camera crew for the movie walked off the job to protest conditions and production issues, including safety concerns. Not so I feel really bad, you know, it's like I don't, I mean, everything was going great. The only problem we had was when these six guys wanted to quit. Later, Rust Movie Productions LLC was fined by the state after the Environment Department's Occupational Health and Safety Bureau released a report that showed gun safety failures. But the actor and producer of Rust claims everything was running smoothly before this incident. Every time we've used guns on this film the last two weeks, we never had one problem. Never. Never. But other crew members who were interviewed remember things differently and say this was not the first time a gun misfired. I'm not trying to get anyone in trouble, but quite frankly, uh, there have been some things that, uh, you know, procedures that weren't necessarily followed to the letter uh, that predated this. Back on the set of Rust, a deputy took the gun from armorer Hannah Gutierrez. Karen, You're all right, just relax. <laughs> when interviewed by deputies, Gutierrez didn't have much to say. I'm the armor, or at least I was. According to the sheriff's office, some evidence is still outstanding, including FBI firearm and ballistic forensics, the OMI report, and data from Baldwin's phone. Back to you. Oriana, thank you. Once the investigation is complete, it will move on to the Santa Fe District Attorney for review.